Hii ni Buda Boss Live manika kinuka tunakausha kama kei mti yangu mazejo. Leo ni Motivation Tuesday malisupe na mazeku. Kuwondo mazeku na, na vitu mbili tatu tuneza zungumzia ineza touch roya ya mtu mali. Leo nataka tuonge about mastering money. Pesa mti yangu ineza kwa ni master mti yangu. Pesa mazeku ineza kwa ina kutumo na itika. Ina kuita unakuomu. Unafanya mazeku because pesa ina kuambia and I'll do. Na until ume learn kuko in a place where unaweza ku master money then by no means unaweza escape the mastering ya do na mastering ya do ni noma watu wamefanya vitu za maajabu in the name of do mtiangu watu wameuza mwili kupata do watu wameuza degree kupata do watu wameuza kidneys kupata do watu wamefanya vitu za maajabu kupata do mtiangu nataka mzee tuongee how can you be able to master money now principle hapa ni simple mtiangu like any master ana akona servants you prepare work for the servants to do ndo by the time una waget wako na work to do that where tayari umesha predestine ushaipanga so jamaa ukimleta works ana kam kufulfill ile job uliko umemtengea in other words kitu najaribu kukwambia ni lazima do iki come ipate tayari kuna work already preordained for it Ushai preconceive ume plan ume set na therefore hii do iki come iko na a definite channel yenye unaenda kuitumia into it na hii au ipangi sana wewe pata do wago naipanga before upate do but that hii do iki come tayari ilishapata job wewe uko na ngoja tu do i come i satisfy job ulishaipangia so what are some of the critical channels na fikiria anyone should be able to have they are not limited to what naenda kusema and it is not a must to kuenazo but i believe ineza kakupatia a clear indication of some of the things uneza put into place zinaweza kukusaidia wewe kukuwa a master of your finances first things first mti yangu tight usisikize mazeke leleza watu oh z10% ni do mob zina wacha na hizo vitu zote when you are able mti yangu kusema god me na na technology do ni may get by your power wewe ndio umenipatia power ya ku create wealth ya ku make do ya kufanya hii kitu 10% nataka ku set aside kukupatia haijalishi ni how much na get is not about how much in equivalent to the percentage nishajipa the discipline that 10% whether it is a million ni may make a hundred million or one shilling 10% weke ya tight Tu nataka kwa si by the time unakaa kwa tight ushate wa tax. Wale watu wa mko employed mna bahati because kwa uko employed na manisha tax yako wagishanyongwa inatumwa before hata do yako ikam. So wewe una deal na ile kitu imebakia. Lakini wewe ni mse self employed anza kufikiria at the end of the year lazima ndalipa tax. Weka ka percentage kando mti yangu that inaanza ku go into your tax uh, uh, account. In the dogu zangi whatever percent you take pia unaweza ipea 2% 3% doesn't matter whether to musha mwaka ikifika sasa leo unafanya your tax returns mti yango na umepigwa hesabu hapo hivyo na bona for ulipe salasa au na pressure tayari kuna dome kwa ukiweka unaweza pata kwa dakika 40 kando toa salasa lipa ushuru then you come back una joma ze at least nilikuwa na something over and above inaweza pata shughuli tofauti sawa three mti yango savings Usitoe savings mti yangu kwa ile do imebaki kama bakshishi. Ushatumia do kwa kila kitu kingine ukasema wa nimebaki na tao mbili. Wacha nitoe so moja kama savings. Zi. Determine in advance that mimi niko na say for instance 10%. Ie inaenda kwa savings. Hii do ikiingia hivi 10% ya hii do nimerusha kwa savings haraka fast. Sawa. Number 4 ama 5 whichever number that is na come next. Weka do percentage fulani kando ya health. Bwana tani kwambie ndio na appreciate umelipa uh, uh, NHIF kama 500 kana endaga very good. But you need to have a fund kando that we gonna build towards any health emergency in Azarise. Kuna moments watu wameko kwa ngori na unaenda hosi unaambo lazima uweke deposit ya tao fulani na una hiyo do ndio umeenda mahali uko na NHIF NHIF imecover up to a particular uh, 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 level after hapo lazima upige top up the fact that mtiango hizi emergencies will come unplanned 
anza ku learn kuweka something aside ya kwenda kwa health fund mchango kama ujui unaweza anza wapi kama unafikiria about insurance big is not about having a big medical cover mazende ufeel ni kwa medical cover sasa hii kuna services kama mtiba for instance wewe mwenyewe ndo unadetermine ndo una save ukisharusha do hapo ndani hauwezi tumia for anything else other than a medical condition unaweza transfer to somebody else because ni do ya meds bore na lipo hospitali unaweza ku transfer hospital have some little percentage that goes when you usually akuka do in percentages me i tell you mume kama kama ni make so mbili nina percentage naenda hata kama ni tubo na irushanga pale hivyo hii tubo after a while itakuje kwa ngiri 20 Any time unajipata in a situation in a rise and emergency uko na some place ya ku deep into hata kama unitajitopa unaweza kama muambia wathi nianze eh hey, yenyewe bill imekaa ngiri so but at least niko na ngiri 20 nimerusha hapo hivyo mnaweza nichangia ngiri 80 maze ni cover lakini most of the times unajipata maze nina bill ya ngiri so na in fact the only thing niko nao ni madeni mtu yangu fuliza inapumua tu hapa hata mzilitumia kwa embe mkitume inaenda Leteni tu pesa mupe na hospitali. Na get eh? Ni muhimu. So weka some percentage kando ya kwenda kwa health fund. Next mti yangu. Weka some percentage ya investment. Sikize ni <laughs> Kuna hizi vitu nataka kujiambia uko na dream flani mazee siku moja nitakuwa na hawa yangu zi gari boss azi azi jinunui. Lazima uko na plans umeka in place that is not go towards these vitu. Whatever percentage you decide sema nimerusha 3%, 5%. Hii ni my investment plan. After 2-3 years niko na how much nimekuwa nikisave. Eh hey, buda nimefusha ngiri 50. So how do I invest in ngiri 50 nirudishe ngiri 55? As I progress, it is an investment fund. Unaelewa? Muhimu sana uko nayo. Of course, sisi ni mavijana. Hai. Sisi ndio tuna believe tunaishi kama cartoon. Hatuwezi daddy, hatuwezi choka, hatuwezi retire. Sikiza boss. Ni muhimu anza kukuwa na a retirement benefit plan. Kuna siku hii mwili uko nayo itakaa mikwe mikwe dhaifu. Kuna siku mazee ibidi uko nayo energy zitakuja zishuke. Kuna siku hiyo watu na chapu utambue nianze bro. Ehe mti yangu mazee wenda methusela. Unapelekana tu haha. Eh itabidi mazee umekula vako juu kuna kuna mayangs takapo hivi na wika kuna wera na umeshikilia hapo hivyo at 65. Itabidi mazomo jipatia shughuli zingine za kukam through. Wewe ni kijana saa hii, wewe ni concord is doing nini wofanya gamaze biz zako za chini ya maji. Akili yako ikuambi probably kuna gedha ita come, hiyo energy uko nayo saa hii itende kishuka. Anza kupangia mazee jo siku zako za kukuoma. Kuna ngori mazee kawe ni mzae na umesota. Wewe ni mzae umesota mazee inabidi unaanza kuanza kupiga hustle sasifai kupigwa na wazae. Unaelewa? Wewe ni babas unafaa uko umetulia hiyo gedha na uko na vitu mbili tatu zinakushikilia unaweza za kuingizia kaini kama kaku come through. Unaelewa? So ni muhimu kuwe na something una put aside ya retirement. Then hii mti yangu kwangu ni kama sheria. What ni about kukuambia next ni kama sheria na ni muhimu sana mti yangu. In fact the next two things ni kama sheria kwangu. One, put money aside for giving. Kupeana ziko na nielewa. Whatever percentage you take a candle 3 4 5 1% then mara 10 20 put a, a percentage aside for giving Mazajo kuna watu huku hivi wanaweza benefit from the proceeds of your sweat Kuna watu wana go through situations mtiango that wanaweza benefit from the proceeds of your sweat and hard work What is it to make a candle that this one it doesn't matter how much I make it doesn't matter my needs I must give and be a blessing kwa mtu mwingine Haupeani jungori zako zimeisha zi unapeana because usha predetermine that part of the percentage ya do mimi nita make lazima nipeane Also family kikwa na mtu uko na ngori uko na something to give Ulikuwa na mse uko na something to give. As una walk unaanza kuuliza God, God mzee, nipatie what do I need to do na hii yenye nimeset aside? Naweza saidia nani aje wapi? Ni revealie how unataka nitumie hii do kukuwa blessing kwa mse. Ni muhimu sana tukwe na a culture and a heart and an attitude of giving. 
pay you do job ita come through pia ni nimeombea mazeni kama sheria mti yangu put money aside ya ku enjoy the sweat of your labor kama kuna blanda mimi na my opinion niliona na a lot of our folks and even i saw it with my parents maze ume do job hawezi jibai hata shati hawezi jibai hata kiatu hawezi jibai hata lunch because kuna needs na no given time easy doll kuna make ili kuna ka enough ku satisfy the needs around you so what happens maze uko na internal frustration ile siku huu mtu hii atapata kazi unataka huu mtoto na kazi yake akulipe because ulijinyima ndio utakuwa nakumbusha mtu hii unajua kama sio wewe ningekuwa kama sio wewe ningenunua kama sio wewe ningefanya unafanya mtu yana feel mazeli kuwa burden because wewe there is no single time you enjoyed the labor or the of the benefits of your labor mtu yangu haitalishi umeka hata kani 1% 2 3 mbie, si mimi nimefanya kazi 2% yangu kwa mfano ni pesa ngapi ni tao mbili akili yako iko ambayo unataka kukula kuku ya tao mbili mtu azikuuliza Mjambo itisha kuku wewe. Wakuweke mguu kwanza waambiwa kupangie. Unataka mguu peke yake hapa hivi. Unataka kuanza na mateke. Eh, hey, ukitoka mateke kuja mathayo. Utoka mathayo kuja kifua. Utoka kifua kuja shingo. Alafu ukitaka unataka kurudisha. Sasa teke zilikuwa huku wa kuanzisha hii side. Buda unakula jasho lako. There is joy that comes when you enjoy the labor of the benefits of your labor. Fruits of your labor. Mimi si prescribe to this thing ya mazee siweza tajibaia soda ju ju mazee eh life ni hard eh hey, life ni hard buda si unakula wera unakula wera treat your mwili ndio upate motivation ya kurudi wax kesho motivation utato wapi mti yangu while all this may happen let's assume all these things combined imekula some 40 50% of your income 40 50% of your income ishaenda then out of what remains ndio kuja waanze ku deal your daily needs to fair to rent to food for that now with what remains you begin to live according to your means kama ile do una make imekutoshia hawa ya sotano for now maintain hawa ya sotano as you make plans of how to increase your income ndiweze ku move from hawa ya sotano to hawa ya tautano au move to hawa ya tautano because umeamua because finances may grow exponentially everything may grow exponentially now unaweza ku shift to that dimension of life you live according to your needs but even in that need imagine utakuwa ume when you so uko ordinary mtaani unaishi wherever place unaishi baze lakini wewe uko na ka health fund kako hata kama ni 500 uko na kitu. Wewe uko na doa investment, hata kama tao mbili uko na kitu. Wewe uko na doa retirement, hata kama so tatu uko na kitu. We, we look at your life, tunaanza kuona your life is structured. You know what exactly to do with money. So ukiangukia mita moja mahali, siji utaengukiaje? Haikushtui. Hoi, unajua tupata gadora shanga. Hoi, hoi, wacha kwanza nikimbie Mombasa wiki mbili nifikirie. Umeka hapa hivi na kayelo yelo eh kabla ufikiria washamaliza kukufikiria wakakumalizia hii pesa yote unajuza wewe oh, oh. ni fine ni next mafarmers wamepata bonus bonus ime come through but ana hii kitu kwa blessing jamaa amechanganyikiwa mitini akirudi hana bob because hakuwa make structures za do kutumika i hope kuna msana nisikiza babas and i hope mali huko utaweza ku rise up kukuwa a master of your finances tuongeleshane niandikie tu pa comment ukilemewa nitakusaidizi tunaweza kakuchanga mix haraka fasta na watu wanaweza kakusot kuruka at freddy buda boss hapo vipi hapo sawa